Made it here to the San Diego River. Nice little one to two mile hike from my truck. The water is pretty murky. As you can tell, um, if you're from here in San Diego, locally, we've been getting consistent rain every weekend. And the runoff, the, the rain, is putting a lot of debris and sediment into the water. So you're gonna see a lot of more murkiness and all that good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and try to catch some bass. I brought some lures today, so I'm gonna ho hopefully catch some bass today, even despite the, the murky waters. All right, let's go ahead and grab some. What I have today is a KVD Strike King. It's the Ocho edition. I have a double header red or a blue crawl. I'm gonna go ahead and try the, the blue crawl because I know there's some crawfish here. And since it's murky waters, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this color Ocho. What I'm using today is a nice little offset round bend 2 aught from Bass Pro Shops hook. I'm going to use that weightless and use that with the Ocho plastic. Wish me luck. Alright, got my Blue Crawl Ocho bait right here, 5 inch. Gonna grab one. And I'm gonna put it on my offset two watt hook. Gonna fish it weightless. Gonna fish it weightless. Put it to the front. And what I like about these baits is coffee scent. So it's gonna actually hide some of my human scent that obviously I'm touching and exposing the bait to. So ex exposing the bait with. So that's it. Pretty much it. Make sure it's uh, nice and straight. And then puncture the the ocho just by the tip of the hook and you're set to go so my technique is really casting to where i think the bass will be letting it hit the floor and how i know that is when i could see slack in my line when there's slack like this because you know the bait's not falling anymore because it hit the bottom so i usually when i see slack i, I wait for a good five six seconds and then do a little rod twitches and what that's going to do is going to flutter that bait in the air in the water column and then slowly drift down back to the bottom and with that little action surprisingly the bass really like that little flutter action so that's really what's going to entice that bass to bite a lot of the times my strikes are when i pitch to structures and the baits falling down to the bottom doing this little action that's typically when I get the bite the flow of water is actually going from my left to the right from left to right and it's actually going around this little tree around that little bend and if you could see you can see little leaves that are going around that's flowing to the right it's actually going around that little bend so that little bend I'm, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be some bass around that little structure around where that little flow of water is going because that's where the the flow of water that's going to push potential insects or bait fish in the area and i'm pretty sure that's where the predator type fish like the bass i'm trying to target today that's pretty that's pretty much where i think the bass are going to be so i'm going to actually cast right over there where that little flow of water is Ooh, that was a good pitch. <laughs> Hopefully there's a bass there. Oh, got one. Guys, I got one. Ooh, dude, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That was awesome, guys. That was pure awesomeness. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I just pitched it right over there under that tree. I was just admiring that little pitch I did. I surprised myself. 
on that little worm. I got that little bass. <laughs> See if I can land her. Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. Nice size largemouth bass here in San Diego River. Nice little offset worm hook. <laughs> or offset hook off that little worm I was using, that Ocho 5 inch worm. And I got this nice little bass. How awesome is that? I was just casting. I was about I was here for a good hour until I caught this bass. And it's a rough grind here in the San Diego River. You can see how murky it is over here. And I was kind of doubting myself of maybe I won't catch a fish, but look at this guy. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Oh man. Beautiful. My first largemouth bass of the year. All right, baby. Thanks for letting me catch you. Made my day. See ya. Woo, and he's gone. That was awesome. That was pure awesomeness. That's so cool. Woo. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and I'll make definitely make a video more like this. Hey, let's say if I get more than 150 likes on this video, I'll make another video right after work. Thanks again. My name is Roddy Marquez, and always, thanks for watching. See ya. He has it. He has it. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, no. Missed it. Dang it. Come on.